morning guys, it is Monday and I have just created one of my most delicious looking breakfast. Well, to me, to some of you guys, maybe not so delicious. It is green sludge basically, but to me, I cannot wait to dig in. So I just thought I'd let you see it. This is, this is banana strawberry nice cream topped with um, goji berries, coconut, chia seeds, and inside there's ashwagandha and spirulina. And I cannot wait to dig in. This is gonna be so delicious. Mmm, it tastes so good. In the morning when I have my breakfast, I usually will turn on YouTube and watch some of my favorite YouTubers. And this morning I'm eating my breakfast and watching somebody else make their breakfast. I'm such a foodie. to clean my yoga mat so I've made this um, concoction of some filtered water with a little bit of baking soda and some essential oils this time I added bergamot ylang ylang a little bit of lemon and a little bit of lavender and I think it's gonna smell really good so here's my yoga mat all laid out and ready to spritz so I'm just gonna spray it down with this bottle and then give it a wipe down with this cloth and then flip it over and do the same on the other side hanging it over my banister to dry it shouldn't take too long because I didn't drench it and now I'm gonna sit down to some lunch which is if you saw my last vlog um, on my Saturday vlog on Sunday last Sunday um, I went to this uh, vegan place called Mana I keep wanting to say Nama that's a completely different place Mana and it was so filling so we got um, the rest to take away, and so I'm gonna have the rest for lunch today. And it doesn't look like much, but it tastes really good. It was so good, so I'm excited for lunch today. And that's what I'm gonna have, and Winnie's gonna watch me eat it. I really appreciate that the takeaway boxes are cardboard as well, unbleached, so I can um, compost this afterwards, or at least recycle it. just tried making another DIY hair conditioner. I tried making them before, detangle sprays, conditioners, shampoos, and I, ha I just haven't found one that really works for me yet, so cross fingers, this one works. That included marshmallow root, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, um, and just water. So I already had the marshmallow root from like practicing um, other ones before. I know that they're popular with detangling sprays, which I used to use, but now that I'm growing the bleach bit out of my hair, I don't need that so much. So I had some left over, so I thought I would try this recipe, um, which is also a detangle spray, but I'm, I'm gonna just try and use it as a hair conditioner. So if all goes to plan, hopefully it'll work well, and I will share the exact recipe with you guys um, at some point and give a hair update, because I know that some people have been asking about my low poo, no poo hair routine and what I'm doing at the moment. I did only just wash my hair last night, um, so I won't be using it for a while, for a few days yet, but when I have used it, I'll let you guys know. It'll be at some point this week, so in this vlog somewhere.
yoga class and I'm walking through Greenwich Park and I couldn't resist this view. It's insane. So today's yoga class was a yin yoga. Um, I signed up for five weeks course. Um, today was a substitute teacher and she was actually really good but unfortunately she only practices yoga on a regular basis in Camden and Chelsea and that's just too far for me but I'm happy with today's class and this view. I just feel so lucky and privileged to be living in Greenwich for this park, just the sake of this park. It's incredible. I love coming here and it always makes me feel at peace. But I think that's going to be it for today's vlog. I'm going to go home, grab something to eat um, and grab a shower and head to bed. So I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye. have a lot of YouTube stuff to do. I've got to edit yesterday's vlog because I didn't do that last night. I've got to edit this vlog or whatever I filmed today. And I also have a sponsored video which is coming out on Wednesday. So for you guys that'll be last Wednesday um, that I have to do, which I've never done before. I've never done a sponsored video. So this will be new and interesting and fun hopefully, but I have a feeling it's going to take a little bit more work than usual because I can't just I don't know, be spontaneous and whatever. So I have that to do. So I have a feeling I'm just gonna be at my desk for a lot of today. Not sure how much I'm gonna film for the vlog, we'll see. But I am starting the day right with a smoothie. This is uh, bananas, blueberries. Um, the blueberries are frozen, so it's a little bit, gives it a bit of a chill, which is good because it's a warm day. Some ashwagandha, spirulina, which is making it green, and some acai powder as well. So. That's what I've got going on and hopefully I'll see you guys in a bit. guys today I am starting the day with a big old glass of cucumber water which is one of my favorite drinks in case you guys didn't know I've been sending out a newsletter every Wednesday for this month um, and so um, this is the latest one I will add a link down below in the description box if you guys would like to sign up it's gonna be every week for this month and then I'm gonna check in and maybe do it every week or every month from then on so on beautiful sunny days like this, I don't know about you guys, but I never crave like solid foods. I always just want liquids. Um, I don't know, my like hunger pangs go way down and I can honestly just survive off juices and smoothies all day. So this morning I'm gonna make a juice. We got this after watching Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead on Netflix. Let me know if you guys have seen that in the comments below and what you guys think. It is really interesting and I don't know it was a really inspirational um, documentary I really enjoyed it so literally the same day we ran out and got this juicer and so this morning I think I'm gonna make ginger carrot and apple it's like classic I love that juice so here's what I'm gonna be adding to my juice this morning just uh, two apples I like Braeburn they're my favorite um, a few thumbs of ginger and a bunch of carrots. They're all organic, so I don't need to skin or peel or prepare anything. I just chop these in quarters, chop these into thumbs, and the carrots are already the perfect size and shape. So 
what I do with this leftover meat is I'll either make something from it, so I've made um, like carrot cakes and things before and I can make um, like bliss ball, energy ball things um, or I can just put it straight into the compost which is what I'm going to do today because there's ginger mixed in so this is going to go straight into the compost and it's going to be super nutritious for the soil. Anyone else love the sound of ice cubes? I feel like I should start an ASMR video just like pure ice cubes. That's such a satisfying sound. So the doorbell just went and I have unexpectedly just received this package here, which unfortunately has come a bit mashed up. It's actually like completely torn open. The top just comes off. Um, yeah, so I'm glad everything came safe, but it just, the box is a bit ruined. But inside there is a note which I will read in a little bit. Um, and it looks like a shampoo and conditioner. What does it say? Uplift, so I'm guessing it's volumizing. A clay mask for the hair and a clay mask, are they the same thing? I think it's two of the same thing. And a tote bag, which as you guys know, I can never get enough of. Um, I use these all the time for shopping and stuff, so it's always good to have another one. What I also start craving in summer and when it's really warm is just raw food. So the other day I made this um, hummus with some avocado and so I've got some cherry tomatoes, spinach, cucumber and carrots chopped up and I'm just gonna pick at this. So this company, Biolage, um, I did not ask them to send me these products. Um, I didn't know they were coming and I've just been doing some research and I can't figure out if they are cruelty free or not. There seems to be a lot of controversy online. Um, about this brand who sent me this shampoo, conditioner, hair mask stuff. Um, I actually can't figure out if they test on animals or not, which is a bit dodgy to me. And if they definitely didn't, then surely there would be something online that just stipulates that they don't. Um, there seems to be a few loopholes with their statement online regarding testing on animals and whether they're cruelty free or not. So I'm not sure if they are. I think they're a partner company with L'Oreal or owned by L'Oreal or something um, who I do not buy from because they do test on animals um, uh, which is why I stopped um, buying things from the body shop because it is no longer cruelty free. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what to do with these products that have been sent to me. Um, so if you guys have any information about whether they test on animals um, or whether they um, sell in China or whether they're cruelty free, please let me know in the comments below. Um, as of now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these products. Um, just full disclosure, that's what's going on. However, it is now um, 10 past 12 and I have slathered myself in some sunscreen because I am white British and the sun has just come out and a few weeks ago when the sun was bright, I got quite badly sunburned, so. I have got some sunscreen on and I'm gonna go lay out in Greenwich Park, one of my favorite places to be in London um, because it is a super warm and sunny day and I have cracked on with a load of work. I was super productive yesterday, so I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna listen to some podcasts, maybe bring a book and just lie out and enjoy the sunshine. I feel like my vlogs are just turning into like what I eat in a day videos, but um, I'm just about to snack on this. It is some um, Craig's crackers, which are like my all time favorite, with some almond butter and then some jam, which I made a few days ago. It's raw vegan jam, it's really nice. And then I've just got um, a iced coffee, which I brewed yesterday, put in the fridge, and I've added some ice cubes to it. Good 
morning guys um today i'm waking up with slightly wavy hair because i washed my hair yesterday not with that new shampoo though because i haven't yet decided what i'm going to do with it um and then i put um french plaits in it overnight and this is what comes out so i don't use any like heat i don't even use a hair dryer or anything on my hair um so i just like to get curls kind of like naturally i mean i don't have naturally curly hair but in a in a way that's not going to be damaging to my hair so this morning for breakfast i am having half a cantaloupe i'm just going to eat it with this spoon here um she's always in the background of my videos <laughs> oh she should start her own vlog channel and I wanted to give you a little bit of an update on, is it this, well, kind of both sides, on my piercings that I got the other day on the weekend. Um, and I, I can't, I can't feel them at all. This, this piercing, which I got a couple years ago, honestly was kind of painful and took a little while to heal. Um, but these low ones, totally like easy peasy piece of cake. I don't even feel them anymore. It was like a little bit of a scratch when he pierced them, but then even like immediately afterwards, I didn't feel anything and I haven't felt anything um, and I think that is down to one going to just like a really good reputable place that I've been to before and that I really trust and if you haven't had your ears pierced before go to a place um, that someone you know and trust um, suggests to you um, if you live in London I'm gonna suggest going to Cold Steel in Camden it's just the best place I've ever been to personally and um, also, they don't use guns there, like, you know, those ear piercing guns that you get in, like, Claire's accessories and stuff, because those are super damaging to your earlobes, to your ears, to any piercing, because it, like, it's like a gut, well, it's a gun, so it, like, fires the, um, the blunt piercing into your ear and it, like, tears your skin, whereas this one I got done uh, by hand, he just did it uh, with a needle in his hand and pushed it through and it's just a lot cleaner, a lot less damaging, um, less likely to get infected um, and a lot less painful as well. So I would highly recommend <clears throat> going somewhere that does it hand needling over gun. A lot of places offer both and um, I would suggest not going with the gun. And if you live in London, definitely go to Cold Steel in Camden. Uh, I'm not like sponsored and they don't even know I'm making this or anything. I just, I honestly just really rate that place and the people are so friendly, so genuine. Um, and it's just, it's a fantastic place. So that is an update on my piercings. I've had a little breakout on my lip, which is bugging me, um, but I am putting tea tree oil on it. So it should go in a couple days. Um, and that's all I have to say for now. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So for lunch today, um, I'm feeling a bit lazy, I didn't sleep too well last night so I'm not feeling like whipping up a storm in the kitchen so for lunch I'm just having some scrambled tofu with some mushrooms, tomato, spinach and then some um, homemade seitan which is super easy, um, great recipe and then I've got a little bit of engavita but I have also brought this upstairs with me because I'm going to be adding a lot more in a moment and then I've got an iced coffee as well.
today I went to central London to try and finally find some ramen bowls and thank god I found some. Um, so we got those. I'm still looking for sandals. I went into just about every shop there is that possibly sells any kind of sandals and still nothing. All the girls ones were like pink or purple or sparkly or like, I don't know. I just want some like plain black walking sandals, you know, like hiking sandals that you'd find in like North Face or I don't know, one of those kind of snow and rock shops. I went into all of those, none, nothing that weren't like luminous colors or like made for men. So still on the hunt for those. All in all, I had a delightful day. It's been like 28 degrees today, scorching hot, dripping with sweat. So I'm gonna um, jump in there, have a cold bath, I think, and get into something a little, less damp <laughs> so uh, i'm gonna end the vlog here for today i think what i'm gonna do from now on is i post videos on sundays and wednesdays and generally the vlogs go out on sundays and the other videos on wednesday so i think what i'm gonna do is switch it around so now the vlogs are gonna go on wednesdays after this week um, just because it gives me a little bit more time to edit them so i don't have to like cram in saturday evening um, editing um, and then you guys can get to see my entire weekend Saturday and Sunday as well so from next week that's what I'm going to be doing um, and otherwise I will see you guys in the next video so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and I will see you next time bye <laughs>